Hello, I'm Dr. John Heyer from Holistic Health and Chiropractic of Frankfurt, where we use chiropractic, acupuncture, nutrition to help sick people get well and help well people stay healthy. In today's video, we want to briefly touch on ADHD and shed some light to this epidemic problem. Back in 2013, there were 6.4 million children diagnosed with ADHD. Now the thing with that is it didn't include children who had ADHD-like behaviors but weren't diagnosed and it didn't include adults. Now you might be thinking, Doc, 2013 was a long time ago. Surely it's gotten better. Maybe not, because a research article the next year in 2014 showed that there was a 42% increase in ADHD diagnoses over the course of an eight-year period. It was growing. In fact, in the United States in 2017, two out of every three children diagnosed with ADHD um, we're going to have at least one other mental, emotional, or behavioral disorder diagnosed as well. So it's not bad enough they had ADHD, but they had other compounding issues as well. Now, some of you might be really familiar with ADHD and very knowledgeable, and some of you might actually be very new to it. And are wondering, well, what are some symptoms that might lead you to think that your child could have ADHD? Well, if they're having trouble concentrating or focusing, that could be a symptom. Having difficulty staying organized, being forgetful about completing tasks, or having difficulty sitting still, those are things that might lead you to have the child evaluated by a professional. But here's the thing, it's a very difficult condition to diagnose because many of these symptoms are typical childhood behaviors. In fact, looking at that list, sometimes I fall within that list and I know I don't have ADHD. So the question is, when is a kid being a kid and when is it something more? Well, keeping those symptoms in mind, there's five facts that we want to keep, uh, there's five facts that we want to remember as well. And that is that the symptoms of ADHD typically start to appear between the ages of three and six, with the common or average diagnosis being made around the age of seven. Males are almost three times more likely to be diagnosed with females, and ADHD isn't just a childhood disorder. Uh, there's estimated about 4% of the American adult population is dealing with ADHD on a daily basis. And during lifetimes, 13% of men will be diagnosed with ADHD, whereas only about 4.2% of women will be diagnosed. Now, so typically we're looking at younger males in the early part of their life to start to develop these kind of things. But that doesn't mean everybody falls underneath that description. So if you are somebody you know or having these issues, and maybe you've been to doctors, maybe you've been to therapists, maybe you've been to other professionals, and you're just not getting answers to your questions or solutions to the problems that you want satisfactorily, maybe it's time to investigate a more natural, holistic approach. And that's where I come in, because I will be happy to set up a complimentary consultation to hear your story, to learn about your situation, to see if you're a good candidate for the programs that we use. In fact, if you go to our website, www.adhd-frankfurtil.com, you can actually go on and schedule a complimentary consultation where we can have a conversation and see if there's something we can do to help you. Thanks. Oh, and before we go, hit the like button and share, because what we found with a lot of people is they feel like there's no hope, there are no other options, and let's, shed the, let's spread the word and share that there are other more natural solutions for people to consider. Thank you, have a great day.